Welcome to Run Radio. I'm Trina Wilcox and Christine Pitts with OMRR is joining us. Welcome. Hello. So there's a big race coming up and uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. So can you tell us a little bit about the cabin fever reliever, what you need from the community and the details about the race? Well, all right. Our race is um, on the 10th of February. Start The run starts at nine. Um, it's at Logan's, Logan's um, Rogersville High School parking lot. Um, the good thing about this race is we also get to use their cafeteria. So we've got a warm place to stage before the race and a warm place to go after the race. Um, I'm pretty sure we are set on volunteers. One of the things we do for our races is we always have um, a group that we are raising money for. And this is the cross country team. And so they will be out at the aid station volunteering some of those kids. And then we also have people from our group that are volunteering. So right now, I think we're set on volunteers, but we do need people to sign up. You have two days to sign up and to get a really cool sweatshirt um, that caught off, caught off, caught off ice tomorrow. Um, you can still come after that. And actually the price without a shirt is a little bit less. We did give that option this year. So if you don't make the cutoff, you can still sign up till the day of the race, the morning of the race. And um, it does cost you a little bit less because you're not getting a shirt. All right. Tell us a little bit about the terrain. I remember it being quite pretty. But yeah, challenging. actually, it's probably changed since you did it. I yes. think this is the third year that we've actually kept it on the east side of um, 125. So we're not crossing that road. So it's it is still pretty. It's a lot flatter than it used to be. So we don't have those big hills. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but we're not crossing the highway so um, we go out from the school and we go east and the 5k is kind of an out and back the 10k is a further out and back and then the 20k is the 10k twice all right sounds good what about uh, just participation for OMRR altogether like if someone's thinking what's this all about? Why should I join? Can you tell someone some incentives for becoming a member of Ozark Mountain Ridge Runners? Um, well, I think the biggest incentive is community. Um, we have a very big supportive community for running in Springfield and really not just running. A lot of our people bike and do triathlons and things like that too. Um, of course, you don't have to be an OMR. We still have a great running community in Springfield. There's runs um, that are on our website um, that anybody can go to. So we're not exclusive for our runs and we do the best pro training. That's not exclusive. You don't have to be a member. Um, to be a me one of the exclusive things about members, um, we do have some drawings and we also have discounts on um, some of our races. We didn't on this one, but um, our big two races, we have a discount if you remember. Um, we also have a picnic and an annual meeting and a lot of that. And we do um, a baseball night with the Cardinals. So there are advantages to being a member. But one of the reasons also is just to help support by being a member, you're also helping support the running community and all that we do. And you're also supporting the races that we do. Sounds great. Where can people go if they're interested in becoming a member? Uh, we have a website. Let me see what it's actually called. It's OzarkMountainRidgeRunners.com. And um, on there, you can find um, our races that we put on. You can also have, uh, there's a calendar of local races and um, other information. There's information on there. Um, once we start our training plan for Bass Pro, that will be on there. Uh, there's a list of local running groups, and then there's also a page to become a member. All right. Sounds great. Thanks for sharing. We'll have more for you. Follow along at runradio.net. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.